So I get a uh, cool moment here, a lot of cool moments tonight, uh, but I get to, uh, to take a few moments to talk about uh, Coach Harry Statham here. I think many of you in the room know Coach Statham, and I want to make sure that those of you that don't do by the time that we walk out of here this evening, I'd like to pay a little tribute uh, to Coach Statham, who's a longtime coach, as many of you are aware, 52 years the head coach at McKendree. Uh, a lot of people will talk about the wins, and that's the obvious, if you will, on the surface to talk about. Coach Statham became the first coach in the history of college basketball to win a thousand games in his career, a thousand games, and finished with 1,122 wins in his 52 years as the head coach at McKendry. Uh, in addition to the the wins, I, I think his probably biggest recruit, biggest win in his life, and I think he'd probably agree, is by finding the love of his life. And Rose has been with his side by his side the entire time. Uh, road games, home games, Rose very rarely missed anything in 52 years and has been the, uh, a big backbone of the McKendry program, frankly, for 52 years. Uh, in addition to the wins, Coach Statham has been named the NAI Illinois Basketball Coach Association Coach of the Year 12 times. And in 1987, he was inducted in the IBCA NAI Hall of Fame. In 1998, his career accomplishments and achievements were recognized with his induction into the NAI Hall of Fame. Coach Statham has re, uh, received the American Midwest Conference Coach of the Year eight different times, and he was a six-time recipient of the NAI District 20 Coach of the Year. He was selected in 2001-2 as the NAI Basketball Coach of the Year in the country. In 2005, he was recognized by the NABC at the National Convention in St. Louis with the Guardians of the Game Leadership Award. It was an honor bestowed by his peers. That summer, the United States Sports Academy presented him with the Distinguished Service Award. Annually, they have uh, awarded this uh, award to individuals who've made outstanding contributions to national or international sports through education, research, and service. In 2006, the Lebanon City Council honored Coach Statham by renaming the roadway on McKendry campus, Harry Statham Way. The university's gymnasium, the Harry M. Statham Sports Center, is also named for him. So many people, though, are going to talk about important adjectives in coaching, right? We hear all the time about class, integrity, character, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, for 52 years at McKendry, Coach Statham has shown us through his actions and his words, he's modeled these values. For our student athletes and all those around us, he has been the standard, he has been the model. Beyond the wins, the records, the accolades, he shows all of us what it looks like to use the power, power of the coaching platform to impact the lives of others. In 2018, as such, we announced the creation of the Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award. We awarded that first one in 2019. The purpose of the Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award is to honor a coach that has used the power of the coaching platform to make a positive impact on players, coaches, and others. The coach will be a person of high character and integrity who has used to serve an excellent role model and has deeply impacted the lives of others. This annual award in honor of Coach Statham must have, the coach must have coached at the small college level for the majority of his career, must have had a high degree of personal character and integrity, and the coach will be a current or former coach, but will honor a living member on an annual basis. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd appreciate if you please welcome Coach Harry Statham, the gentleman of college basketball. Thanks, John, um, and thanks for giving my wife credit. So she doesn't get enough from from me, for sure. But she's she's a behind it all and been great for all these years. And I'm where I am because of her. So thanks for saying that, and thanks to my wife. Um, so to start here, thanks, John, for the introduction. 
and uh, good evening, everyone. It's great to be back in Kansas City. And it's certainly an honor to be a part of this awards program. This is another wonderful weekend for small college basketball, and we honor these special award winners. John has done and continues to do a fantastic job with this organization. My college coaching career started in 1966, and um, I attended the NEIA tournament in, here in Kansas City, uh, right here by uh, Municipal. 32 teams in the same venue. What an experience. I did not miss a single game. It took me 22 years to get my team to Kansas City and compete in the NEIA National Tournament. I never missed a national tournament in Kansas City. John became the NEIA National Tournament Director. Did an amazing job. Things uh, ran like clockwork. He was everywhere. I was really impressed. Our basketball and baseball teams were very successful in the NAI district and national tournaments. Our football team was not. So the president decided to go to Division Two. At that point, I lost track of John. Um, few years down the road, I saw where small college basketball has their first Hall of Fame class. And the director was John McCarthy. Got my attention. So I immediately checked it out and became a member of small college basketball. The rest is history. What job he has done and is still doing. He started this Coach of Impact Award six years ago. And Dr. David Holmquist is our fifth recipient. The last few years have brought changes in our society, in our game. And I'm concerned about keeping our game great. We have some outstanding coaches who are doing a tremendous job by honoring them with an award like this, it will help them understand how much we appreciate their jobs. These are challenging times. And the work of John and others is very important in keeping our game high. The 2024 Coach of Impact is Dr. David Holmgast of Bowley University. He transferred from Cypress College to Bowley. He was captain of the basketball team and graduated in 1974. After graduation from Bowley, Coach Holmquist received six additional degrees from four universities, including a doctorate in PE from Southern California. He coached at uh, Fresno Pacific University for three seasons and returned to Biola in 1978 as a basketball coach. He has coached 44 seasons, has won 1,058 games. He was also the athletic director for 27 years. Biola was a member the NAIA and the Golden State Conference until 2017. Coach Holmquist was the National Coach of the Year two times, the Conference Coach of the Year eight times, and was inducted into the NAIA Hall of Fame in 2002. 32 of his players received NAIA All-American Honors. 40 players received Golden State All-Conference Honors. 
and three received Golden State Player of the Year awards. Coach Holmquist was the longest tenured coach in Golden State uh, Conference. His team finished in the top eight, I'm sorry, the top four, 14 times. They were conference champs two times. Bola averaged 24 wins a year and made 21 trips to the national tournament. 81-82 was their most successful season, 39-1. and Their only loss was an NAI tournament championship game. Coach was the NAI Coach of the Year. The first Golden State title was 2001, 2002, and they were 29 and five. And in 2015, 16, they finished in the top 10 in the NAIA poll and were 30 and four. They won the conference and the conference tournament. Coach was both the ABC Coach of the Year and the Golden State Coach of the Year. In 1617, his final year in the NAIA, they were 26 and six, and played in the NAIA national tournament. They were the first team inducted into the Baola Athletic Hall of Fame in 2019. In 2018, they were NCAA Division II, uh, and they joined the Pacific West Conference. In 1920. They went in overtime in the championship game of the Pac West. They were 19 and 12. In 21 22, they made it to the second round in the Pac West tournament, and they're 21 and 8. They're 111 and 77 total to seven seasons in Division II. Every coach makes an impact on his players fans, and all who know It is either it is positive or negative. It will range from strong to slight. Coaches need to be aware of how much they influence people and work very hard to maximize the positive feelings. This Coach of Impact Award goes to a coach who exemplifies high character, strong work ethic, and a quality leadership. Coach Holmquist has been and continues to be a tremendous example for our young coaches. The 2024 Coach of Impact Award goes to Dr. David Holmquist. The winner of the 2024 Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award is Dr. Dave Holmquist from Biola University. You know, it's better than $9.99, a thousand. Shout out to Coach Dave Holmquist at Biola and NCAA Division II School here in Southern California, La Mirada. Dr. Holmquist with his 1,000th win when the Eagles beat Concordia Irvine Saturday. He began winning in the NIA, been at Biola forever. He's an NAI Hall of Famer. And do not play Jeopardy with this man. The coach has five master's degrees and a doctor. During his 47-year career as head coach, he currently has 1,058 wins and counting. He is one of just six four-year coaches in men's college basketball history to win a thousand games. Coach Holmquist has led Biola to an NCCAA National Championship and has earned two NAI National Coach of the Year awards, eight Conference or District Coach of the Year awards, and was named to the NAI Hall of Fame in 2002. I have followed his stellar career as he has impacted many, many players to become great men as they live their lives. I am thrilled that my friend Dave Holmquist has been named the Harry Statham Coach of Impact with his incredible 1,058 victories and counting. So thankful um, to have had the opportunity to play for Coach. Uh, he's impacted the husband, the father, uh, the coach that I try to be every day. I'm so blessed uh, for my time with Coach coach stood in my wedding um, and he continues to be uh, someone in my life that, that I look to for wisdom, 
um, someone that uh, just continues to have an impact on me uh, because of the man that he is. Uh, Coach, I love you and I'm so thankful uh, that you're a part of my life. I'm so grateful for the way that you have impacted me first as a student athlete when you were athletic director and then when I was a head coach at Biola and now um, as your athletic director, you have taught me so much about how to lead with humility and intentionality and have had a profound impact on my both professional and personal life and um, I can't imagine working here at Biola without your leadership and mentorship. You also have an amazing sense of humor, <laughs> so I really appreciated uh, just when, um, yeah, the whole way that you lead um, with such great wisdom and intentionality. So thank you so much and congratulations this evening. If there is an item I will cherish as my memories fade, is that your loyalty, Dave, was unwavering and well-made. But one thing has been true in our moments together. You have been a dear friend, and I know it's forever. Yet to you, the simple things are what matter most, your faith, Father, Son, and yes, Holy Ghost. I think the combination of skills that you have brought uh, to the game of basketball is uh, particularly unique and uh, something that I have always appreciated about you and I know all those who you have touched in your life appreciate these same wonderful qualities. Congratulations again. You had a great career as an athlete and an incredible uh, run as a coach. And I'm grateful to have you as a friend. And I'm just so proud of all the things you've been able to accomplish throughout your career as a coach and so many lives that have been impacted by the dedication that you've had to the sport itself. And so my hat's off to you, buddy. Thank you. Dave, I just wanted to congratulate you on this incredible honor. It is only appropriate that I stop and recognize you as my coach, mentor, and friend. It was my privilege to show up at Biola as a freshman walk-on in your very first year as head coach at Biola. It was a good time, especially because it was a day when I had more hair than you did. I'm convinced to this day that you put me on the team because I had a sense of humor and not because of my underwhelming talent. But a couple of years later, under your coaching, I was in a starting role on some pretty remarkable teams. Dave, you are a phenomenal coach, as your record attests. Year after year, you have taken talented players, further developed them, and impressively molded them into winning teams. Your players came to you as boys and left as men. I am so blessed to have you in my life. I love you, brother. Congratulations. Small College Basketball is proud to present Biola's coach, Dave Holmquist, with the 2024 Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our stage the winner of the prestigious 2024 Harry Statham Coach of Impact Award, Biola Coach Dave Holmquist. Uh, before Coach Holmquist um, speaks, I want to let you know I just did something backstage. I wanted to get in that picture because that picture between the three of us, we have 2,227 wins, and I just want to let you know that. Okay, Coach Holmquist. <laughs> Well, I, I too want to thank John. I uh, remember when I first met him, I can't remember how many years ago, probably about 10 years ago, at the national tournament here in Kansas City. And I, I just thought, he's, he's got the energy and the oomph and the love of the game and the organizational skills to do a great job back here. And then when he uh, started a small college, organization uh, of course that's that's really proved to be true and so I'm very thankful to him for this whole thing and, and what's transpired the last number of years I also want to thank of course coach Statham and his wife Rose I, I just uh, really got acquainted with them I had talked to Harry 
briefly a couple times but didn't know him well. We never played him at the tournament, but I saw his teams play and of course I knew a lot about him and we had some mutual friends. But eating lunch today and also talking last night and what I've heard from people who know him well, not only his ability as a coach, which, which is obvious, but also the humility, uh, the kindness, the doing everything for the right reason, the philosophy he has behind coaching. It's, it's just been a, a great weekend for me to get to know he and Rose, and, and I'm, I'm real thankful to win this award, especially coming from a person like him. I'm hoping I can see my notes here. <laughs> Uh, when I was a, a very young coach, it was about uh, probably a couple of years into my career, I read a, a very good book called The Road Less Traveled. It was by a man named Scott Peck, and Peck became a Christian during the time he was writing that book. But the, the gist of the book was really covered in the first paragraph, and he wrote something to the effect that life is difficult but for those who understand that life is difficult, life becomes less difficult. And I read that, I read that over and over, and I've read it many times since then. Um, I, I, I've thought a lot about what that means. I knew coaching would be difficult be, because I was 0-10 before I won a game. And I remember after the 10th loss, it was an hour and a half away from the school I was at in Fresno, I remember driving back in the van thinking, can I quit? And I thought, no, I got to make it through the year. And then I started thinking, well, I really need to stay here about three years. I can't just come and do it for one year. But coaching did not look good at all to me. I was sure we were going to lose the next 10-2 at that, at that time that night. Turned out we went eight and seven the rest of the year and we had an eight and 17 record. Now most people aren't happy with that, but I was thrilled with it because <laughs> of how we started off. But after reading Peck's book, I, be, I began to think about how do you make life less difficult? And there are a number of ways. My, my faith is the most important thing in my life. And so that's the foundation. That gives me strength and hope. I also began to think about the attitudes that, that a coach needs or a person needs in life. And I, I'm going to mention two. There are many more, but these, these two have been important to me. One is you really need to have some basic beliefs and you need to be reminded of what those beliefs are continually. Um, Wisdom comes through depth of knowledge, not breadth. Uh, we read good books, we hear sermons, we listen to speakers to be reminded of what we already know. We may gain an occasional new insight, but insights rarely change us. What changes us, sometimes ever so slowly, is the focus on and application of the truths that we already know. We have enough truth to live 10 lives. What's most needed is steady attention on our most basic beliefs. That is what leads to real conviction. Uh, when John Wooden was alive, uh, my junior college coach was his first All-American, so he introduced me to Wooden when I was a young coach, and I used to go out and see him about six times a year for many years. And all of those times with him were meaningful, but there was one night that was especially so. For three hours, he took out a folder and he began to read to me. I didn't say a word, I knew who I was listening to, so I just listened. He read, he read poems, aphorisms, quotations, proverbs, brief stories, and scripture. Mostly he read scripture verses, many of which he had memorized, and Proverbs.
As a basketball coach, he was known for his emphasis on fundamentals. He had the rare ability to get great players excited about the most basic aspects of the game. He lived his life the same way. He had boiled life down to the basic fundamentals, and then he constantly reminded himself of what he believed. At the start of a basketball game, a player believes strongly in the values of a team. Let's say his conviction level is 95%. But then he sprints up and down the floor six or seven times, is having trouble catching his breath, and then he gets hit by an elbow. Now his conviction level might drop to 85 or even 80%. He still believes, but not as strongly. The same thing happens in life. We wake up each morning with all kinds of good intentions. But then, the distractions of life quickly intrude. And now we need to be reminded of what we know to be true. These reminders might come from a good friend, scripture he had memorized, a short prayer, or something else. But whatever it is, we can't flourish in life without consistent reminders of what we know to be true. The second attitude I think is real important is having an understanding of the value of small changes. Life will become less difficult if we understand that. Basketball is sometimes described as a game of inches. If the ball lands out of bounds by six feet or one inch, either way it's out. Life is also a game of inches. Those small, almost imperceptible changes you make add up to make you who you are. The truth about life is we never stay the same. We are always changing, little by little, inch by inch. About 25 years ago, I heard a speaker divide the world into two groups of people, those who return their shopping carts and those who don't. <laughs> Wanting to be on the right team, I decided to return my cart every time for the rest of my life. Whether I was late or it was raining, I wasn't going to care. Now this isn't a big achievement. After all, it only takes about 15 to 30 seconds to return a cart. But it is important, because with each choice we make, we are either moving forward or backward. Each small commitment can lead to another commitment, which can lead to another. This inch-by-inch inch concept is a great spiritual truth. All truth is God's truth, and this is a truth that has always been around. Many people stay disciplined for a while, then grow frustrated when they don't improve fast enough. But there are no sudden improvements or great leaps forward. In the locker room of the San Antonio Spurs, there hangs a quotation. Quote, when nothing seems to help, I go and look at a stonecutter hammering away at his rock, perhaps a hundred times without as much as a crack showing in it. Yet at the hundred and first blow, it will split in two, and I know it was not that blow that did it, but all that had gone before. This little by little, inch by inch idea is the, is the foundation of spiritual formation. It gives added meaning to everything we do and think because it all matters. There are no small choices or actions because they all move us in a direction. The wisest people that I have known really understood this concept. They approached life with the right kind of urgency because everything for them was charged with meaning. When everything we do or think, no matter how small, becomes an opportunity to grow our faith and character, all of life becomes more important. This is at least partly what St. Irenaeus meant when he said, quote, the glory of God is the person fully alive, end of quote. And if we can coach that way and live the rest of life that way, we'll take three steps forward, two steps back a lot of times, but if we can remind ourselves of what we really know to be true, our lives and those we impact, it will go a lot better. Thank you.